What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again today and I have had an Iceland delivery as you've known with the all the fully loaded meals that have been coming your way recently and I have tried a new brand. It's an exclusive brand to Iceland. You've seen the ones that they have normally, your big boys, you've got your Greggs, you've got your TGIs, you've got your um, Harry Ramsons. I think they've got Chiquito and Piccolini as well. I haven't tried any of them yet. I've done some Cathedral City. However, today I've Try, I've, I've bought um, Ed's, I'm going to say Greg's then, Ed's, Ed's Easy Dino. You know, he's like American style diner. We have been to one as a family a few years back now when we were in London on a, on a, on a, on a weekend away. And it, our, my missus loves it. In store, in the, in the actual place, it's really fantastic to look at. Old American style booths, milkshake machines, jukebox. It's, it's really good. Um, but it's really expensive. However, this... Not too bad for an Ed's product. We've got three things we're going to try today. We've got the big, a new product from them, which is the Double Decker, which is like their version of a Big Mac there. So it's a Double Decker burger with burger sauce. I've got a pepperoni stone-baked pizza. And we've got fries to go, which I don't think this is actually Ed's exclusive, but it does say enjoy with Ed's. So unless that's just like a... Um, a thing they've got going on together, a mutual benefit, mutually beneficial um, partnership, maybe just to sell more fries to go. They're like alternatives to microchips, although looking in there, they do look a lot thinner. But so they were one pound seventy-five. The pizza was one pound fifty, and the double decker burger was two pound. So five twenty-five for all this. So we're going to give it a try, I'm going to share it with my daughter, she's going to have the pizza and a portion of chips and I'll have the burger and a portion of chips. Something new, I haven't done an Ed's, any, any of the Ed's range on this channel yet, so I've got to give it a go now. So let's have a look at the packs. So these are the boxes, the fries to go, we're going to have to go through this quickly. That is the um, traffic light system per pack. 2 times 90 grams, so that's percentage per 71 gram serving. Hmm, so maybe it's not full pack. Anyway, we're not bothered about calories. So microwaveable in two minutes. Microchips, that's them. They are what they are, aren't they? I'll just put that there. So if you want to pause it, you can. And it just says, so the cooking guidelines, remove plastic and microwave for two, minute, two minutes. Cook only one box at a time. So I'm going to have to do these separately. So here's the pizza. So that's also a microwavable. This way up for cooking. Three minutes, 160 grams. Looks all right, doesn't it? Hopefully it doesn't go like too horrible and crispy at the end. Um, that is the ingredients of the pizza. You've got wheat, milk as your allergens. 8% pepperoni, 16% cheese. So it's a lot of uh, crust there, a lot of base. So that is the nutritional information per pizza microwaved. 421 calories. It's a stone bait pizza base topped with mozzarella cheese, tomato sauce and smoked pepperoni. That is microwavable for three minutes as well. And the double decker, which is the new product. That's not a sticker. So, like it says there, exclusive to Ireland, Iceland, not Ireland. Double decker burger with burger sauce. Also microwavable, three minutes, 204 grams. So, a lot more ingredients in this. 6% processed cheese slice there. Cooked beef and chicken burgers, 50%. So it's 49% beef and 37% chicken in these burgers. Wow. So, you've got sesame seeds, wheat, mustard, egg, milk, as the allergen, soya, soya protein. And that is the nutritional information of the burger. It says, a double sliced white bread bun topped with sesame seeds, stacked with two cooked beef and chicken burgers, and a slice of processed cheese with a sachet of burger sauce. So, I'm going to get into these and try and microwave them all so that they're going to be all ready at about the same time. Let's straight away, let's just look at straight at the burger. So, it all comes separate. It is, of course, frozen. I get a plate. Let's take a look at this burger. So 
So, burger bun and a middle. So we are going to have to actually microwave these burger buns. This burger bun, it's not very big, I'll be honest. That is my hand, look at that. It is a, a minute burger. You get one cheese, one sachet of burger sauce, and two burger patties, which obviously got a microwave. I will microwave them at first, and then I'll probably toast them just to finish with them to crisp them back up because they'll go soggy if not. Right, let's have a look at the pizza. That is the pizza, pretty standard pizza, not bad. It actually has a little tab system there. You cook this in the box. So it comes with like a metal metal foil tray that you were not it's not metal of of course, but it comes with a little foil tray that you you cook it in. So that goes like that. And the fries which I can't get into actually cook in the in the bag in the box like that. So they come in their own little individual boxes and all the fries are in there. So you just cook that alongside it. So I'll get it all cooked and ready and then I'll bring you back when it's all done. Okay, we'll so the pizza is ready. The burgers are out. I'm just going to butter the bun because I like my buns buttered. Um, each to their own, I suppose. Now, I did have some trouble with these, as you can see. These two were rock hard, so I had to put water on them and then to, to soften them up a bit, and then I toasted them to make them normal or crispy as you were so the burgers i have also added a second cheese slice so that is the first one we'll get a bit of burger sauce on there i think we'll get a bit of burger sauce on the under underneath there save some for the next layer we'll put that on top there then next burger double decker it up the rest of the burger sauce oh it's gone on the plate on the side never mind don't want to waste that there we go that is the double decker burger so the fries are in now they're ready I'll give you a closer look and then we'll have a taste. It is all important taste time. I'm going to start with the fries. They do look really good for fries to be honest. Look at them. Proper crispy. So they have been microwave, they are some good fries. They cook in each pass it's got three three of them. And I, I feel like that, that is what keeps it makes it crispy. It's better than like McCain's microchips, these proper fries. Thin. Really nice. There is potato in them though. These are alright. I'm going to start with the pizza. I'm going to just take one of these little, I've cut it into four little fingers because this is my daughter's. So I'm just going to have a go at this finger and let you know what it's like. It smells nice. Yeah. Not too bad. The cheese is a bit, a bit off for me. Hmm. It probably needs another minute in my crib, I'll be honest. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I don't mind that. 
I feel like if it adds another minute in my microwave, it'll be all right. I'm going to put it in a, for another minute before I uh, take it up to, to her. This is what we're looking for. Look at that burger. Double decker. I'm not sure how this is actually going to turn out because, like I say, I, I did have to... Um, oh, my battery's going on the camera. I did have to... Um, redo the I had to wet the, the potato the um I lost my because it's the, the camera's battery's dying so I've lost my train of thought. The um the bun was went rock hard after about 30 seconds so I had to I wet it and then toasted it so it might not be the best. I might have just saved the day there though because it's not a bad burger that That burger is okay. The bun lets it down because if I'd have had a brioche bun in there, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the bread bin, I would have swapped that out and used it. The actual meat's not bad, the cheese is nice. The burger sauce is tangy, nice, sweet. Decent for a burger. If the, if the bun was okay, that would be cracking. But maybe I did it wrong, but I feel like it should. It went rock hard. But if I, that had been a brioche bun, I'd have been very impressed with it. So overall, I'm probably going to give that a 7.5 out of 10. It's definitely better than going to Ed's Diner and buying a burger, pizza and chips twice because that would cost you about 30 quid probably. And it's just over a fiver. So it's something we had to try. It's not too bad. It's, it's all right, but it's not mind blowing. It is what it is. Microwave the whole lot in about five minutes. You have to juggle it around to get it ready. But not bad for a quick snack at home. No else but that. Wouldn't be a main meal. It's a bit, you could do better yourself making your own. Nowhere near as good as the, um, the ultimate burger from Aldi that I had the other day. That was unbelievable the other week. That was unbelievable. And I am going to try that Wagyu burger that people in the comments said so that I can compare it because they say that that's even better. I don't know how or how that's possible. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow at three o'clock.